This is the brand new, very gorgeous 2019 BMW M850i. It's okay, go ahead and stare. I did it, and it's legal. While you do stare, I will tell you a little bit about it. Uh, $123,500 will get you the base car. <laughs> but it has all the options, no surprise there. Um, one of which is the executive package, which includes the glass shifter and fancy things on the inside. Uh, the two-tone merino leather seats I will show you in a moment. And this thing, which is a carbon fiber roof, $132,000 for this beauty. The Barcelona blue, huh? It's got you too. It's just special, yet subtle enough. Oh God, this car is sublime. There is no bad angle. Let's just do a quick walk around here. Uh, your X-Drive all-wheel drive badge. A real bona fide M badge on a car that deserves it. Not something you bought from the dealer for a few hundred bucks. Uh, huh. It's so beautiful. Jeez, these designers know exactly what they're doing. Speaking of which, I don't know if you see what I see, but depending on the angle, the car looks small or looks big. In my mind, compared to an S-Class Coupe, which I haven't found driving around in the last few days, uh, would be three, oh no, I'm ruining the shot, would be like three times larger than this. Anyhow, it is beautiful. Let's go on the inside where the beauty continues. Um, there is a back seat, somewhere over there, there you go. This is the two-tone merino leather seats, which are incredibly comfortable, supportive, and just as good looking. Uh, let's get in here. It's kind of cold. Um, this is the glass shifter with the uh, iDrive wheel, which is kind of nice. Let's start her up. Oh, this 12.3 inch digital instrument panel is beautiful. And I love the reverse rev counter. This thing is configurable and all kinds of beautiful. There's your typical large screen up here that you can control like I said with the iDrive down here this is some of the details I love this material it's like a mesh totally beautiful anyways it's got all the features wireless charging down there here are your drive modes it's all here I love the layout so typically BMW you'll yet so evolved and modern the dashboard is gorgeous fit finished a luxury yet an absolute impossibly impossible to deny sense of sportiness yes 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 anyhow well obviously it's an m850i so what we need to do now is take it for a spin and see if it drives as good as it looks let's do it so although i've not driven an s-class coupe for a few years i can tell you with almost 100% certainty that BMW is more sport than luxury whereas the S-Class will be more luxury than sport. That's kind of obvious and we are comparing the basic version of both cars, right? I'm not comparing what will be a completely insane M8 with an AMG 63 for example. Um, the, the first thing that really pops in your mind or popped in my mind when I got behind the wheel of this car much like when I looked at it at the, at the car show it was a little bit different but when I picked it up I, I saw the car and I was like wow I didn't remember that it was this big but as you start walking around like I showed you it's not that big and when you get behind the wheel of the car it's exactly the same thing you're like oh I was thinking the turning radius is gonna be horrible it's gonna be like a big boat to drive but not, uh, not even remotely close. The principal reason for that is the standard integra uh, integral, I think I'm saying that right, active steer, which in other words is just fancy talk for four wheel steering, which kind of shrinks the car to half its size. It feels no bigger than a three series. That is fantastic. And it, it just enhances steering feel. I mean, Steering is heavy. Right now I'm in an uh, adaptive drive mode. So everything's kind of on hold until I kind of want to go crazy and the car says, oh, he wants me to drop a few gears because that's how he's feeling at the very moment. Um, usually I'm in comfort, but adaptive on the highway I find is best suited for the real world. 
Um, so beyond that, right, the 4.4 twin turbocharged V8, 523 horsepower, 553 pound feet of torque, between 1800 and 4600 RPM. The engine feels like it's understressed, underused, totally relaxed, and you can feel it actually. When you put the hammer down, the swell of torque is instantaneous. And it's not, it's not alarming by any stretch of the imagination. And that would be the difference between a true GT car like the M850i and say a sports car, you know, like, a, like an R8, for example, which I think maybe somewhere on some scale kind of, they're similar somehow. Like the R8 is, is dramatic. This is totally, absolutely laid back. The, the push, the, the, the torque is just, mm. it's like a, a warm, warm shove from your mother saying, get off the couch, stop playing video games, and go make something of yourself. Oh. I mean, this car is heavy, right? But all that power will push the car to 100 kilometers an hour in about 3.8 seconds, which is insane. How fast is the M8 going to be? M5 fast, I suppose. Um, and the 8-speed automatic transmission is totally beautiful. Always, always with me, playing or relaxing or being aggressive. The standard uh, BMW X drive, all-wheel drive is, is doing wonders. We've not had any snow for a couple days, so the drive surfaces are dry yet cold. And even when I get stupid on the throttle, the power just goes exactly where I want it to go. Speed warning <laughs> at 121, I promise. Um, it's just such a wonderful car. I mean, other than the S-Class, I mean, maybe the Aston Martin has similar GT cars, but I've not driven those in a while either. But when, it, when you come right down to it, if you want something sporty, comfortable, luxurious, at 123.5 or maybe 132 like mine, I don't think there's a better car. In fact, I think, I will say that the M850i Coupe is a bargain in the GT car. Man, I love this car. I absolutely love everything about this car. The way I feel behind it, the way it, the way it drives, the way it looks, the way it's put together, it feels so solid and fast. All right, enough gushing. M850i. I wonder if I didn't expect any different from the other. Anyhow, enough of that.